Hello there boxing fans and welcome back to the Mob Predictions with me, Chris Chapman. In the spirit of making you an offer you can't refuse, hit like, hit subscribe and sound off in the comments section below. Two months ago, I had the pleasure to give you the rundown on the undisputed super lightweight championship between Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez. The fact that today, so soon after... I'm previewing another undisputed four belt title fight makes me incredibly happy as a boxing fan in regards to the state of the sport. A sport which is rightly criticised for its lack of clarity deserves credit when putting on a clash of champions like this. That credit to a degree should be extended to the PBC who while this is an in-house production, they have pulled the trigger and put them together rather than match them separately and let this contest marinate. These two champions are of course WBC, WBA and IBF light middleweight or super welterweight king Jamel Charlo and WBO light middleweight supremo Brian Castaño. Many great names through the ages have called the light middleweight or super welterweight home from way back when Nino Benvenuti, Sugar Ray Leonard, Pernell Whitaker, Felix Trinidad, Terry Norris and Oscar De La Hoya all the way up to the modern day legend Canelo. However, none of these names were ever able to claim to be the four belt undisputed champion like Jamal Charlo or Brian Castaño will at the end of this contest. The fight happens on Saturday the 17th of July at the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. Showtime are broadcasting in the US while there has not been a broadcaster announced in the UK, which is a shame and matches the unfortunate experience UK boxing fans had uh, when dealing with the Josh Taylor-Jose Ramirez fight in May. The tale of the tape is a compelling one, so let's start with Jamal Charlo. Now, Charlo is 31 years old. He stands 5 foot 11 with a 73 inch reach. Charlo boxes out of the orthodox stance and his record is an impressive 34 wins with one defeat with 18 of those wins by KO. So turning our attention to the WBO champion, Castaño also enters the ring aged 31. However, his reach is 67 and a half inches, which means he gives up five and a half inches in reach to Charlo, and he gives up three and a half inches in height, standing five foot seven and a half. Castaño, like Charlo, also boxes out of the orthodox stance. Al Boxy's record is an almost perfect 17 win, zero defeat, one draw with 12 KOs. So after the mad trading of titles and upsets that have happened in this division over the last five years, we will finally have an undisputed champion in this most underrated and competitive of divisions. It will either be one half of USA's uh, twin terrors, Jamel Charlo, or Argentina's latest top hope, Brian Castaño. It is Charlo who is seen as the favourite in the contest, and I can understand why this would be the case. Looking at his record, even with the avenged Tony Harrison loss, Charlo has beaten the higher level of opposition, and if we look at two of those wins in particular, starting with the highly touted Ericsson Lubin fight, people forget how rated Lubin was going into the contest. Charlo would not have been criticised for taking his time and working his way in. However, he pounced on a mistake and uncurled a ferocious fight ending uppercut in the first round. Moving forward to the next victory I want to uh, focus on with you guys, Jamal was able to win a decision against former champ and wily Southpaw veteran Austin Trout. He showed the ability to knock a Southpaw down with a left hook on two occasions, which is not an easy thing to do. And winning a decision by boxing way out of his comfort zone in Austin Trout's style of fight. Charlo proved the amazing variety he brings to the ring. He has the power to end it at any point, but brings an amazing boxing IQ and standout fundamentals such as his left jab and overhand right. Couple this with the mental strength demonstrated to avenge his only career defeat, make him a truly difficult package for any contender or any champion to face. Castiano will, however, be looking to create his own legacy. 
on the world stage for him and Argentinian boxing. Comparisons have been made with uh, Castaño and two recent Argentine legends, Sergio Martinez and Marcos Maidana. However, I feel this is a little unjustified as he hasn't displayed the power of Maidana or the silky switch-hitting skills of Martinez. What he does show is a fantastic engine, good head movement and a quick jab. While I feel the draw was fair against Lara, it was Castaño who engaged and pressed constantly in trying to make the fight and win that contest. Castaño's effort in securing his WBO championship against Patrick Tiaxera demonstrated his stamina and how his power is carried late in the contest by almost stopping the valiant Brazilian in the 12th. Castaño was able to do this as the away fighter on a Golden Boy show as well. So he also demonstrates mental strength such as in the way Charlo has in coming back from a defeat. Uh, he has also demonstrated that he carries power. This is what makes this contest such an even one. Looking at the routes to victory, I feel Castaño ha only has the one route, and that is to close distance and let shots go in threes and fours on the inside. It is the fact that Castaño will need to employ a higher risk strategy that does lead me to believe that Jamel Charlo will be victorious. I feel we will see a performance which shows a maturity from Charlo. After gaining the measure of distance of Castaño by the middle round, Charlo will step it up and earn a TKO with Castaño still on his feet between the rounds 10 and 12. As I, I'm sure at the end of this contest we're going to commend Cast Castaño on his bravery because I do believe he won't stop going forward in this. I don't feel he will have the confidence to attempt to win this on the back foot uh, against Charlo. So I do believe he will have to employ the strategy, as I've mentioned, of staying in the pocket and letting punches go in threes and fours, which will leave him open to counters from Charlo. I believe, as I say, Charlo's going to show maturity and will work his jab off the back foot and he will be able to employ this just as comfortably as going forward. If I'm wrong and Charlo does end this in like Lubin fashion early, I would be very, very surprised to say the least. I don't think Castellano is going to go down early in this contest um, and I do believe it'll be his bravery that will be his undoing but I do believe it'll be an even contest and one which uh, will be talked about for a good long while there you have it boxing fans another call from the mob predictions uh, on the super welterweight light middleweight undisputed championship between Jamel Charlo and Brian Castagno this has been Chris Chapman it's been a pleasure speaking to you share your comments down below and uh, we'll see you all again next time bada bing bada boom